Hey there, I'm Lindsay Divin, and I'm passionate about everything marketing, productivity, and career growth. With over 17 years of experience in the architecture, engineering, and construction industry, I know firsthand the ins and the outs of this exciting field. From my early days as a marketing coordinator to becoming an award-winning marketing professional and firm principal, I've learned the ropes through countless late nights and challenging deadlines. Now, I'm thrilled to bring you the AEC Marketing Strategies Podcast. Here, I'll be sharing simple yet powerful step-by-step marketing strategies that you can implement to achieve the same level of success. Consider me your go-to marketing mentor, someone who truly gets the unique challenges you face in the AEC industry. Whether you're an AEC marketing pro or industry newbie, this podcast is your personal coffee date with your marketing bestie. Together, we'll navigate the ever-changing landscape of online marketing and digital trends, ensuring you stay ahead of the curve. If you're ready to unlock the marketing secrets they never taught you in college and tailor them specifically to the AEC industry, then you're in the right place. Now, let's get started. Well, hey there, my friend, as your marketing department grows or your firm adds more offices, you find yourself juggling more and more marketing efforts and a whole bunch more of brand and marketing assets. But here's the big question. Are you making sense of all these digital assets and ensuring that your brand identity remains on message and visually consistent across every channel? Well, fear not, my friend, because today's episode is all about cracking the code to make sense of those desperate digital assets and creating a brand identity that shines bright and consistent on every single channel. I'm going to go through five different ways to create and maintain a consistent brand experience in today's episode. And I want to remind you that this is the third episode in my special series, branded, how to build and manage your AEC firm's online brand. As a recap, the first episode in the series was episode 123, and in it, I covered what an online brand is and why you should care about it. In the second episode of the series, I talked about how to create effective online marketing collateral, and that episode was number 125. So make sure you go back and listen to those episodes as each one in this series builds upon each other. I also want to take a moment to thank Open Asset, who is making this special podcast series possible. Open Asset's project-based digital asset management platform empowers AEC firms just like yours to create high-quality online brand assets and RFP responses quickly and easily. To learn more about Open Asset, visit marketerstakeflight.com forward slash open asset. So now let's dive into today's topic, five ways to maintain a consistent brand experience. Let's first talk about what brand consistency actually means and why it's so important. Like what exactly do I mean when I say brand consistency? Well, brand consistency means keeping your firm's identity, values, and strategy intact over time. And trust me, this is a big deal. When your brand is consistent, you can deliver messaging that aligns perfectly with your firm's values. It builds trust and confidence in your firm from your audience. It shapes how people perceive your brand. It helps to create just overall positive vibes. It helps you stand out from the competition. Promoting the visual brand elements By doing that consistently, it helps make your brand recognizable. And who doesn't want that, right? For even more benefits of having a strong and consistent brand online, go back and listen to episode 123, the first episode in this series. Okay, so now that we're all on the same page that you want a consistent brand (laughs) online, how can you improve your brand consistency across all of your marketing channels? Just like most other marketing strategies, you've got to create a baseline. Take a look at what you've got right now. This includes looking at all of the different elements that make up your brand. This means taking a look at your website, 
all of your different social media channels. Maybe if you have videos, if you're running digital ads, if you have any print ads, any sponsorship materials you're creating for all the sponsorships um, that your firm is engaging in, maybe job site and office signage. Take a look at everything. And if you notice inconsistencies in your visual elements, or maybe there's differences in the tone of voice from one channel to an, another channel, it's probably time to take action and go through the steps I'm going to share today. And so lucky for you, I've got five actionable steps you can take right now to establish and maintain consistent branding across your online marketing channels. So let's get started. Step number one, develop brand guidelines. This is where you gather your marketing squad and maybe a few firm leaders and have a heart to heart about the future of your branding. You need to get on the same page about your brand's voice and tone. Is your firm all about fun and approachability, like maybe similar to like a small startup studio, or are you more serious and dependable? You got to talk through all this stuff. And once you've nailed that down, then it's time to get colorful. So once you kind of have your, how you want your brand's voice and tone to be, then it's time to pick a consistent palette that makes your brand pop. You can add some complimentary shades to keep things interesting. And don't forget to lock in that logo design and how it should be displayed in different formats. We want your brand to shine, my friend. Here's a little secret. It's okay to move away from the color blue. I know it's hard for firms in our industry to not have blue in their branding elements. Maybe instead make um, one of your secondary brand colors a blue or move away from that dark navy type shade of blue to like a brighter, happier blue. Remember, you want your brand to be different from your competitors. You want your clients to be able to tell the difference between your firm and that other engineering firm down the street. And it's really hard to do when all the logos look the same. So if your firm is considering a, a rebranding or currently undergoing a rebranding initiative right now, you definitely want to go back and listen to episode 19 of the podcast. In that episode, I interviewed my friend Justine, who had just finished her firm's rebrand, and she shared all of the lessons learned. So that is a valuable episode, episode 19. So the first step is to develop brand guidelines if you don't already have them. Or make sure that everyone is aware of your brand guidelines and knows how to use them if you've already have them created. This is especially important if you have multiple offices who are also posting on your social media channels or updating your website. Every office should be aware of the brand guidelines and expected to adhere to those guidelines. So that was step one. Step two, plan ahead with a marketing calendar. If you've listened to me for any amount of time, you know I love a good plan and love being proactive when it comes to my marketing content. Planning ahead, my friend, is the name of the game. When you map out your branding efforts and your marketing campaigns in advance, you give yourself the space to ensure everything is consistent. Plus, a marketing calendar helps you coordinate those multi-channel campaigns, schedule email and social media goodness ahead of time, and review how your previous campaigns are performing. This is especially important as your firm adds offices or new market sectors or new industries that will require more marketing assets. Planning ahead will help you maintain consistency in your online branding efforts, even as you get more added to your plate. In fact, I typically plan at least one month ahead, but I ideally like to plan for the next quarter. Yes, three months of content ahead. This gives me plenty of time to create the marketing and branding assets and then review them before they are scheduled. And to learn more about my quarterly content planning process, go back and check out episode 82, where I walk you step-by-step step to create your quarterly content calendar. Okay, so, so far, we've gone through step one, develop brand guidelines. Step two, plan ahead with a marketing calendar. 
Are you still with me? Great. Let's move on to step three. Step three is to create evergreen content. Evergreen content is content that remains relevant and reusable over time. It's content that's always relevant and can be repurposed into oh so many creative ways. Take an industry or a market survey report and transform it into a catchy infographic, for example. Slice up a fabulous webinar or conference presentation into bite-sized clips that are perfect for social media, especially for what's trending right now. Revamp maybe your how-to blog articles with fresh examples and give them a shiny new headline. And your client or project success stories, my friend, they are begging to be compiled into an epic ebook or YouTube video. The possibilities really are endless and your brand consistency will thank you, especially if that original evergreen content was created using your brand guidelines. For even more ideas on how to repurpose content, I've got two episodes for you to check out. Repurposing content is like my favorite strategy. So I I already have two episodes. I'm probably going to be doing some more. But the two episodes I have already created is episode 86, an AEC marketer's guide to content repurposing. And the second episode for you to check out is episode 101, three ways to repurpose proposal content into marketing content. Okay, let's keep moving. Let's go to step four. Step four is about getting everyone on board with a standardized approval process. Having a streamlined system for approving all of your branding and marketing materials is a total game changer. It ensures that those pesky inconsistencies don't sneak in when you least expect them. This process will save you time and guarantee that your brand remains consistent across all touch points. And who doesn't want that? Raise your hand. I can see you virtually raising your hand if you're saying yes, please. And then last but not least, my friend, let's talk about implementing a digital asset management or a DAM system. That's the last step. Setting up some kind of system to store and manage all of your marketing materials and collateral is key. Using a digital asset management system or a DAM It really don't get overwhelmed. It could sound all techy and complicated, but trust me, it's a total lifesaver. With a DAM system, like Open Asset, for example, you'll have a centralized hub to organize and access all of your media assets. Your sales, marketing, and communications teams will be able to collaborate like superstars. You know, they'll be able to find what they need in a snap. And they'll be able to create consistent brand messaging without breaking a sweat. And this is even more important if you are the sales, marketing, and communication team, if you're a department of one. You can even set up a system like this to set up your marketing collateral as a self-service for your seller doers, your project managers, and your principals. Take a second and imagine this, not being asked at the last minute for an SOQ or a resume or a project cut sheet as someone is running out the door to a client meeting. That project manager can just access the materials from your dam and you'll know that they have the latest version. It's consistent with your brand and the messaging you want to convey because you control what they have access to and update the files from your end as needed. Talk about efficiency and less interruptions, so you have more time to do the work that is important. Imagine that for a second. Okay, so there you have it. Five practical steps to create and maintain a consistent brand experience. So let me walk you through them again. Step number one, develop brand guidelines. Step number two, plan ahead with a marketing calendar. Step number three, create evergreen content and or repurpose old or outdated content. Step number four, standardize the approval process. And step number five, implement a digital asset management system to organize your marketing and branding assets. That's the five-step plan to create and maintain a consistent brand experience, especially online. Remember, brand consistency is the secret sauce to building trust, standing out from the crowd, and leaving a lasting impression on your audience. 
That's it for today's episode. The third in this mini series called Branded, How to Build and Manage Your AEC Firm's Online Brand. Next week is the last in the series. And in that episode, I'll introduce the concepts of content lifecycle management and how to manage all of your firm's online content more efficiently. This branded series is made possible by Open Asset, the leading digital asset management solution for AEC firms. If you're looking to take your marketing efforts to the next level, Open Asset has got you covered. Visit marketerstakeflight.com forward slash open asset to learn more and see how open asset can revolutionize your digital asset management. Don't miss out on this game changing solution for your AEC firm. Head over to marketerstakeflight.com forward slash open asset today. And I'm your host, Lindsay Divin, signing off with one final message. Keep shining, keep hustling, and keep rocking that brand consistency like the marketing rock star I know you are. Until next time, my friend, bye for now. 